Hi everybody. So a few people have asked me about how to record audio from Harmonal by Norex. So I just thought I'd do a little quick tutorial in Ableton Live. This process works pretty similarly in just about any DAW. Um, just subtle variations. Uh, I'll try to get access to more DAWs so I can give more examples of how to do it. But there are a few ways of recording audio for Harmonal by Norex. So the one thing that is weird about Harmonal by Norex is that it doesn't take MIDI note data. So you know you wouldn't like go in here and put in a bunch of notes because it's not going to really do anything with those notes. Um, however, all knobs, all faders, everything transmits MIDI CC data. All of this can be recorded uh, and automated. So one of the easiest ways to do this at least in Ableton Live. I think if you're working with Logic or GarageBand, you may need to create like a blank MIDI clip for all the areas that you want to record. But for this, really, all I would do is I'd go into Ableton. I'd make sure this little uh, button here is, is clicked. It's the automation armed. And you can read here, it says, when enable manual parameter changes can be recorded to session clips and the arrangement. So what this means is it'll record all the knob and fader movement. So I am record enabled here on my Harmonal by Norix line. If I hit record, I'm starting to record, and now you can see as I move a fader or knob, it starts to move things here. Um, and you can record a performance, do whatever you want. And as soon as you hit stop, hit play again, and now you can watch all of your knob movements move. And to actually record it as audio, you would just uh, you know go and click export audio video and just export the thing you just did. There is another way to do this. Let's delete all this data. There is another way to do this, um, which uh, may be easier for you depending on how you like to work. Um, so what I would do, I mean, you can do this in session view or you can do this, or I always forget what, what, what these things are called uh, in this view. Um, but essentially, what you want to do is route the audio from Harmonal by Norix to an unused audio track. So I have two unused audio tracks here. I'll just choose the first one. And usually in Ableton, yours may look a little bit more like this, where you don't see your inputs and outputs. But if you go here and click your I.O. button, uh, I think you can also go up to your menu, click View, Ins and Outs. That'll also allow you to view or hide your inputs and outputs. You just want to change what the setting is. Usually it's set to your internal microphone, or if you have a sound card with a lot of inputs, it'll be just be set to number one or two, this kind of thing. But you could ch change this to anything. So instead on track three, I'm going to say audio from, go down and I select Harmonal by Norix. Uh, and here you can choose different options for post mixer, post effects, or pre effects. This is whatever you want. Post mixer means that uh, it'll change the, like if I make movements here, uh, it'll record those movements onto an audio track. Prefects, post effects, so whatever effects you have on your Harmonal by Norix track. Uh, I don't have any here, so it doesn't actually matter, but I'm just going to keep it as post mixer. Monitor, if I set this to in, it'll be on, and that means I'll be hearing it on this track and this track at the same time, so I'm going to leave it off. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to record enable track three. So now if I start to make sound here on Harmonal Binorix, you'll notice that it starts working here. And because it's post mixer, the mixer affects that too. Uh, so now I could go through and do a performance or whatever I like. All I have to do is click record, go back to Harmonal Binorix, and now I can uh, stop that recording, double click on here, you can see here's the audio that I just recorded. So different programs work differently. I think potentially if you're working in Logic, I don't know if a track you can select the audio input to be another track. I think what you actually have to do is use the aux sends. So in Logic, I don't have Logic because I'm on a Windows computer, you would use an aux send from Harmonal by Norix. Make sure there's no effect on that aux send. And then on the audio track, you'd say, I want the audio from the aux send. So 
uh, at the moment, the sound from harmonal binaurics goes into the aux send and then into the audio track. And that's how you can record it. I'm pretty sure that's how you would record the audio directly in Logic, but it's been a little while since I've used Logic. So anyways, that is Harmonal Binaurics, uh, recording audio with Harmonal Binaurics. Uh, please feel free to comment. Let me know if you have any other questions. This was quick, but hopefully it is helpful. Okay, uh, talk to you soon.